Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, may I begin to hit that like button? It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Spy shocks the internet after using Naked Man in her music video. Sean Storm exposed Jamaica government in the top 10 most corrupted in the world. Buster Rhymes put a woman in her place for touching him while performing on stage. Briscoe talks about getting a strike after sampling Dr. J beat for a song 10th floor. Artists break silence after being carned seven times. And Silk Boss girlfriend Bree is now pregnant. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice. You see my people? Now Spice have a new video which I go drop tomorrow named um, Tape Measure. And people, Spice actually goes up some post the uncut version on our Twitter page. I don't know how much I want to see it. But one thing I know, that version will not be showing on YouTube. You see my people? Spice have a money night. Yo, the man, yo, people. Una, una have to go up on our page for actually check it out. But there and me I wonder why she had to go run go over on our Twitter for see the uncut version, you know, people. But me I tell you, I go over there, I'm sorry, so I go over there. That music video are for woman. A woman alone have to watch that video there. You see my people and based on the whole concept of it, spice, this is not too far from pornography. I'm not telling you straight up people. You see what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know spice is a bit controversial. She know how to get people talking about her. And I'm pretty sure that is the reason why she actually goes up ups and do that. Because she know once she put that out there, people are gonna run with it, people are gonna share it and all of them things. You understand people and she didn't post it over on Instagram because in Instagram, you can't post them type of things there over there. You can't have people show certain parts and all of them things. Yo, people, may I tell you, they say the only thing left after the man goes up and beat it past spy. <laughs> yo, I can't believe it, yo. Enough people are going to bash her still, you know, because they're going to say she gone too far now just for you get views and them little things there. But at the end of the day, you know, she have to come with something different because she's promoting a new album. I think the album name Emancipated or Emancipation or some something like so. Zine people, because you don't know she's free from VP now and she's an uh, uh, independent artist and stuff like that. So... You know, she put out the album and them thing there, and I guess she's celebrating. She's celebrating being free and all of them type of thing there. So, this I guess is the first music video from her upcoming album. But anyway, people, we'll get to some of the comments them because Missy Alman like Safari over there in a shock. You know, like him a wonder where him just sip on the internet. You see me, Buster Rhymes over there, and as me telling you, say Miss Kitty herself over there. You see it, so. Miss Kitty make a, left a comment saying, I'm going to need a prayer shawl if this, because that one eye serpent when we just see is going to cause flood and destruction. Why you do it, Grace? You see me? And of course, you don't know where she had to about when she said one eye serpent. You see me? Remember the song name, um, Tape Me you know? And you don't know where she had used that for. <laughs> Yo, people, sorry about that. Uno no spice I use that for measure, right? Anyway, so Safari jump in on the comment section and say, Yo, yo, spice, are you effing nuts? Oh my gosh, what the f did I just watch on your Twitter? OMG, laugh my ass. Off. and Buster Rhymes input some whole a flame emoji and all of them things. There's him, people. <laughs> Jado star, yo, I don't know still, you know, I feel like that with that video here, I strictly woman alone for watch this, no man no for watch that video here, none at all, because as I tell you, this is not too far from blues, you understand what I mean, say? and me sure Spice are the only woman probably in the video, and I see all a white man in it, and you know, <laughs> Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this. And if you see the little clip of me and Tabo over on Twitter, let me know if you feel like Spice I go too far. You see it? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Silk Boss and his girlfriend Bree. You see it, people? And it kind of seems like Bree is now breeding. Yes, people, as a post was made on Silk Boss' um, Instagram page, Instagram status to be exact, and it was actually actually deleted. But you don't know say people end up a catch it before him get for delete it and stuff like that. You see my people? I actually show you the post and then we can talk about it a little bit. Is it? So check out that clip here. Alright, so that is that was what was posted and you can see it say my baby mother and thing. You see me, not sure why the entertainer actually deleted it. You see me, if him just want people fear talk about it. 
or him not really ready for boss it. Well, me can't even say him not ready because he won't post it on him status if him no one um, people know, you see. But congratulations to them. You understand me? I say the only thing that you don't know say having a child is a blessing and stuff like that. So big up Silk Boss and big up Bree. After you go so Bob's and style up the man who did Josh me and talk about <laughs> you go so Bob's and does show say, yeah, I yeah the real daddy can remember you say a jacket Joshy get <laughs> a jacket Joshy get you know you see it so I don't know people let me know anything about this this is definitely a good look for silk bars you see it so when you can let me know anything about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about Busta Rhymes actually putting a woman in her place while he was performing live on stage you see my people and the woman who actually got so bobs and touch him you know people see because that is the reason why I put her in her place because while he performed you know she has stretched out her hands and them things but it's not like she was there alone it seemed like she did it with her boyfriend you understand you know we as Jamaican man we now did it with our woman and she got so bobs and I put her hands on no man, we not depend on that none at all. You understand me? I say so. Me I show you the clip, and I can't even blame Buster Rhymes. The man actually box off her hand to the point where the ring where my vamp on him finger even come off of him finger. You see my people, him did actually a look feet because him think it dropping at the crowd. But you know it kind of seemed like it did drop beside him or something like that. But anyway, people, um, check out that clip here, and only can tell more anything about this in the comment section. Oh, Stop the music. Back up. Back up. I dropped my ring down here. Hey yo, shorty, you with your man, right? That's your girl? What kind of sh you wanna let her continue to grab me up? I'm a girl, man. I'm a girl, bro. I don't want to girl. I got a good woman in her home. Tell me girl. This is a weird day. Weird times. She touched me and shit. Like I got some little funny camera phones being filmed. And I don't agree with that. She might do some police shit. I'm not with it. She ain't from my My town we ain't with all these cameras, homie. Huh? You see me? Now, some people are going wrong Buster Rhymes because, you know, say fans act different. Fans react different and things. You see me? She touching him. Some people might say, well, you know, she just wanted to touch a superstar then. You see me? It's not necessarily like she want one day with him or whatever it may be. But at the same time, you know, Buster Rhymes don't really like them type of thing there. You understand? Well, I guess he doesn't like it because if he did like it, he would have all her hands or whatever. You understand? I say people, so can't blame the artist because at the end of the day you know if a female up on stage I perform me sure say you know she probably would want a man to grab on panara and them thing there so you know it is what it is yes what i say my people so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about a rapper who was recently conned up you understand me and he actually was conned up i think it's in new jersey and a seven time him actually get it you understand me and say now this rapper is a good friend of massacre and he's also a good friend of um shensia as well you see me i think him and massacre might even have a collab coming out in the future but he also sampled the Idonia, one of Idonia sang them on his album. Yes, my people. And the rapper we're talking about is Little TJ. Now, as I say, him get caught up seven times and he has actually broken silence and surviving this thing. Yes, my people. So, I get another article quick and fast and you guys can tell me about this. Because remember, you know, you have some people who just get one can and end up a uh, drop out. You understand what I'm saying? And him get seven and actually survive. So, let me get into the story, right? So it's a rapper little TJ says he's here for a reason after surviving seven con. Rapper little TJ updated his fans on his condition Wednesday on social media for the first time since he was con in New Jersey in June. In the video message posted to his Instagram, the calling my phone artist is seen reclining on a couch and in a neck brace. Man, I'm just checking in with y'all. I just want to say thanks for the love, thanks for the support. He told his 7.4 million followers. I was looking at the DMs and I'm seeing the comments and everything else and I felt love. 
know what I'm saying? The 21 year old underwent emergency surgery after being conned up multiple times in Edgewater, New Jersey, at 14 the promenade on June the 22nd. In a statement released by the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, Mohamed Kanate, 27, was identified as the lead suspect in the conning and was charged with three counts of attempted MURDER, three counts of armed ROBBERY, and various other unlawful weapon charges. Edgewater officers at the scene said that they found little TJ with multiple coins and Antoine, Antoine Boyd, 22, with a single con. A third person, Jeffrey Valdez, 24, was with them, and Valdez and Boyd were in possession of unlawful strap at the time, officials said. On Wednesday, little TJ shared that he was conned seven times in the incident, but that he's on the road to recovery and is ready to head back to the studio. Seven con, it was tough, you know. Most people don't survive that, but I'm here, here for a reason. He said, new music coming soon. We're going to come back stronger than ever. On Tuesday, DJ Academics posted an image on Instagram of a billboard that ready I'm back. Little TJ, he captioned the post, hashtag Little TJ billboard pops up in the Bronx in New York City. Little TJ has yet to announce exact dates for his future releases. You see it, people, so, you know, it's definitely a good look because, like me telling you, some people just get one and, you know, they end up a lose them life and things. So, you know, for this brother, you get seven. Definitely, you know, I forgive a lot of praises to the Father. Hopefully, him pray every single day and give thanks for life. That's all I can tell you. Know. You see, I'm some more people. So, yeah, like I said, this art, this artist here, this rapper here, you know, him, 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 him know the Jamaican roots, the dancehall roots, and them thing there. Him is like Tory Lanez in a way, we kind of double dibble and, you know, par monks, Jamaican artists at certain points in his career, like Mr. Shensia, you know, Massacre and them people, so, and him sample Idonia um, song on his album. So, it's definitely a good look. Isn't it, people? So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about incarcerated dancehall artist Sean Stam, and of course, you don't know the reason why Sean Stam they behind bars, right? Alongside, like, Vibes Cartel and them things. So, when I have to explain all of that, why does get to a post where him actually make upon him, um, him Instagram page? Talking about the Jamaica government being corrupt and, you know, them in the top 10 most corrupted in the world, which we know all the people are going to agree with that. Anyway, so he make a post saying, from a ban until now, Jamaica in the top 10 most corrupt government system in the world, but yet still no politician ever get convicted and serve time. Why? How? Both them there, both them have put me in a prison with insufficient evidence, tamper evidence, corrupt corrupt cops, corrupt corrupt judge. Only can see it, corrupt court of appeal. None of those efforts ever put a politician behind bars. Shake my head. I shall return. Hashtag I shall return. So that our Sean Stam office says him people. The man I make on know say he shall be returning. And you know, just like what Wolipa people feel as it relates to Vibes Cartel and insufficient evidence and all of them things. Sean Stam uh, speak out as well, you see me? So big up yourself, yeah, Siva. You don't know as a lot of persons respect this brother yeah, as one of the realest artists ever. Yes, what man say. And this man here always stay true to Vibes Cartel while other persons switch up on the entertainer. This man here always proves say, him, him, him loyalty. Yes, me. Yo, one I tell me, see people that say the new name for loyalty, a siva, or something like that. Yes, me, people. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Briscoe, who is now going through a little phase in his career. You understand what I mean, people? Now, Briscoe, the artist, if you don't know, uh, him do the song named Code, the, the um, this Ensure song. You know what I people? And you know so that go viral for him. Now, he might talk a lot of things in uh, Instagram lives. In basically, him drop a song, a video named Tenth Floor. And him did end up get a strike or whatever. Zin, and him end up a appeal it. Now, if you listen to Star tonight, when him said da 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 da, it's the ensure boss who know say him copy Dr. J the next episode. Zin, even the beat, you can hear it and all of that. Same sample, something from Dr. J or whatever. Now, I'm not sure if him did actually get permission to do that, but. 
you know, I'm appeal it and him end up a get back in music video after it was being after it was straight down. Zane people, but a music video now do well because sometimes them thing they can affect your YouTube channel, you know. You understand? It can affect the video and it might can affect your channel. So you might go through that now. And um, based on how the video did start out, it would have probably reached a million views long time and the video not even reach a million views. It had nine hundred and something thousand. Zane because in the first day it must have got over three hundred thousand views and whatever, whatever. You it and it basically stuck right about now and him go so bops and drop a next video named criminal and that now go on too good either so it kind of seemed like him youtube channel based on the shit or whatever it go through something so you know i'm gonna play a little piece of video so you can hear where briscoe officer and then we'll move on and end the video here is it listen this a beast i think some people depend on one career in the dog Man drop 10 floor bad man and my song Black Brother. You the people them are, are restrict my song them dog. I go my drop my song yesterday, brother. The man them do the same thing, dog. Me I wonder uh, what why them do them thing there, bro. You understand? I be a style thing them they pan, bro. And then you have to look into it and okay, I say boom that I couldn't want to make them people are fire your tune them. Why them are fire your song? And when you look for the next man song, your next man song I promote more. Liars. and next man song have more girl in it I do some other things more than I you but your song and then you know how it a go look now when my alright my job 10th floor I go quote the people them say alright then the youth yeah me hear people say the youth I can't I hold one song one it one because you know them say when they drop a big song you know they might get to say oh you know say I want it one day you know they might always all say that you know like when an artist just jump on the scene, they must say, oh, you know, say, the youth yeah, is a one-hit wonder, and that's the first thing they must say. But them don't know the sacrifices, because I guess I know. When they hear a man come and come and give a bad song in a charge, that them tune it come, the, like, all right, when you say, me release 10 through the first day, me release 10 floor, the song go number, the next day, the same day, the song go number two trending. The song get 300,000 views in a one day. I understand the people them stay so love the song boss over TikTok everybody had a challenge I go on my bed by the next morning I wake up I get a text from YouTube say oh my song get strike so I say oh my song get strike YouTube I tell me say oh if I believe say oh I lie if I believe say this is a mistake for appeal I appeal for the song them put back the song on YouTube, but guess what? Them shadow ban the song. When the song gets strike on YouTube, it 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 it, 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 it um. What them do when when the song gets sh shadow ban? YouTube normally recommend their song to viewers. So you see, like when you go for like your home page, and as you go for your home page, you see a song pop up. You see a song pop up without you have to search for like a skin song. Even if you don't subscribe to an artist, you don't see them song pop up like a Jashi, like any random artist. You don't see a song pop up. What YouTube do is recommend your song to people. You understand? So when they recommend your song, you don't have to go search your song. You understand? Yeah, man. So as I say still, people, you know, Briscoe, I see like a next YouTube channel make. I'm not sure if you make it or what. You see me? That might be one of the best things for do. You see it? Because sometimes when your YouTube channel end up in a certain spot, you know, I me, me never say it's hard to get out, but maybe you have to put in a whole heap of work to get it back on track or whatever. But I feel like say, when you get a strike and you go and appeal it and you get back your video, your channel should be in good standings and all of that. But I don't know. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about what Brisco is saying in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.